Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel and yeah in today's video I want to show you guys how you can connect two external monitors to your Apple MacBooks with the new M1 chip. So as you guys probably know on the new MacBooks with the M1 chip you are only able to connect one external monitor which can be a big problem for a lot of people like me. I need two monitors. But yeah guys, don't worry, there's a simple way to connect two monitors to your Apple Macs with the new M1 chip. All you will need to do is to buy a docking station which is supporting display link. So as you guys can see, I have bought the Wavelink USB-C Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station supporting display link. And yeah guys, in this video I will show you how you can connect your Apple M1s to the Wavelink docking station and then how you can connect two external monitors. So yeah guys, let's start with unboxing our Wavelink docking station. Alright guys, so now I just want to give you a quick unboxing of the Wavelink Universal docking station. So I bought it on Amazon for 150 euros. I will also have a link to it down in my video description. And yeah, as you guys can see when opening the package, the first thing which was coming to my eye was the Wavelink docking station in 5K which is supporting display link. So by the way guys, the most important thing when getting a docking station to connect your MacBooks with the M1 chip to two or more external displays is by display link. So your docking station must be able to use display link because if it's not able to use display link, you will not be able to attach more than one display to the M1 MacBooks. I will show you after the unboxing how to download the DisplayLink software you will need in order to connect your two external monitors to your M1 MacBooks. So besides our docking station we have our power adapter in there and then we also have two more cables in our box. One is an USB-C onto USB cable. I will not use this cable because there is also a USB-C on USB-C cable in the box which is perfect for our MacBooks. So on the front of our Wavelink docking station we have a total of 4 USB 3.0 adapters as well as an audio output and a microphone input. So on the back of our docking station on the left side we have our on and off switch. Next to our on and off switch we have our DC power jack, so our power adapter. Then next to our power adapter we have a gigabit ethernet LAN input. Then next to our LAN input we have our display 1 and display 2 inputs. So every input has two opportunities. It has one HDMI input and one display port input. Then next to our two displays we have another two USB 3.0 cables and then on the right we have a USB-C input so this will be our connection from our MacBook to our Wavelink docking station. Alright guys so that was all I wanted to show you in my unboxing so now let's go ahead and download our DisplayLink software. Alright guys so next we will have to go on their DisplayLink website and we will need to download the DisplayLink software for macOS. So I will put a link to this website down in my description below. So you guys can just click on the link and go ahead and download it. As you can see this is for Mac Big Sur 11 or Catalina 10.15. So I will just click here on download and accept. And it's downloading down here. So yeah, now I will just have to finish the installation process. So license, continue, agree where you want to install it. It needs 15 megabytes of space, so install. And this link has been downloaded. Alright guys, so now after we have installed display link, I want to show you how I have wired up my docking station. So I started by plugging the power cable next to the um, power switch. 
Then I have taken the first HDMI adapter from my external monitors and took one DisplayPort adapter, so it's an HDMI on DisplayPort. Then just plug those two together. I will also put a link to it down in my description below. I bought it on Amazon for like 5 euros. And then I plugged the DisplayPort on monitor 2 DisplayPort adapter. So after I have plugged this, I took my second HDMI cable from my second external monitor and just plugged it in the HDMI port on monitor 1. So the only thing left now is to plug in my power adapter and also to connect my Wavelink docking station to my MacBook M1 and I will just do it with the USB-C to USB-C cable. So just plug it in my docking station and then plug it inside my MacBook. So yeah guys, that's actually all you will need to do in the cabling process of your Wavelink docking station. So yeah guys, now let's see if we are able to connect our two external monitors to our MacBook with the M1 chip. And yeah, so once you have downloaded the DisplayLink driver and have connected all of your external monitors to your Wavelink docking station, all you will need to do is to double click on display link and as you guys can see in my recording my two external monitors are starting and now I can also go inside clamshell mode if you have a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air you can just close the MacBook and then your home screen will be on one of your two external monitors whichever one you want and yeah, also if we go up here on the Apple logo, click on about this map and on this place, you guys can see one my Asus display and then my Samsung display are both connected. And if I go on display preferences and then go here on arrangement, you can also change the order of the displays however you want. But for me like this, it's perfect. So I can close this. Alright guys, so now after we have connected everything and our display link is also working and we're able to use our two monitors, I just want to quickly show you how smooth everything is running by going between those two desktops. So as you guys can see, everything is running smoothly and you can't even tell which of those two external monitors is connected via HDMI and which one is connected via display port. All right guys, one last thing I noticed and wanted to share with you so you don't need to worry is that once the um, screens have turned black after not using it for a while and you wanna start your MacBook using them screens, it always says your screen is being observed as you guys can see in the screen recording right now. And yeah guys, this is normal and you won't need to worry. It is because of display link because you use it to use both of those monitors. You will always see this message appearing. But don't worry guys, you are not hacked. Everything is normal. So I just wanted to quickly share it with you guys before you guys start worrying. So yeah guys, I hope I could help all of you out with connecting two monitors to your MacBooks with the M1 chip. If I did, please don't forget to smash the like button for my YouTube algorithm. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just drop them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer all of them. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and bye.